Cause we're, I'm about to do a prediction thing. I needed to make sure because I'm gonna upload this to my. Uh, we're gonna get the upload to the uh, channel thing. Hi, Nick. This is live. It's good. It's good because we're gonna do our prediction right now. It's good. It's good. I right, da, 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 da. look. So as y'all know, the predictions are here. Now listen, you guys know I'm a Celtics fan. JT, we need you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we need you. JT. We need you. Now, listen, I'm going to be pulling up to the game tomorrow. Tomorrow, the game's at 1 o'clock. I'm going to be pulling up. But listen, JT, we need you, bro. You know what I'm saying? JT, we need you, bro. We need you. We want you. We love you. We need you, bro. And we know you can do it, JT. You're my favorite player of all time. You and Allen Iverson are my favorite. You guys are 1A, 1B, bro. Simple as that, bro. Come on, man. We need you. So, listen, we're going to go for the first thing. Miami Heat against the Celtics. Now, listen. I'm going to do my predictions of who's going to move on, but I'm just going to say just for fun in how many games, okay? Just in case. But when I do these predictions, when the playoffs end, I'm only going to look at what teams I got right moving on. So listen, Celtics versus Miami Heat, Celtics are winning. And that's in my opinion. I'm a little nervous as a Celtics fan, not going to lie to you. I'm a little nervous, but they have no Jimmy Butler, bro. But I'm also nervous because Kevin Love is 15-0 and in the East in the East and the playoffs. 15-0. And those type of stats are like, like they, they when they show the stats, that means it, like the script is going to happen. So I'm a little nervous, but with no Jimmy, bro, I think we should get it done. Even with Jimmy, bro, our team, what's been making me comfortable is that our team is better this year. Like, like people are saying, you guys don't understand how crazy this Celtics team really is with Porzingis, with Drew Holiday, the Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Derek White, Al Horford, like... Bro, I don't think you guys understand, bro. You know what I'm saying? Peyton Pritchard has been going off the last couple games before the season end. Maybe he can be a huge role in this, which I hope he is. Sam Hauser, hope. Come on. Listen, but that's besides the point. Tillman. We got Tillman. Let, 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 let's shine. Listen, but that's besides the point, y'all. I got Celtics in four. Now, the reason why I say Celtics in four is because Miami Heat fans were chanting, we want Boston do y'all remember what happened last time? Do y'all remember what happened last time? Matter of fact, let's go show y'all. Do you guys remember what happened last time someone chanted, we want Boston? Do you guys know or no? You guys forgot. Let me know. Did you guys forget? We want Boston, dude. Now, the last time we want Boston. The last time someone said that was with the Nets, bro. We want Boston. We want Boston. This will be perfect for the Boston Celtics. Wake up to reality. Come on, come on, guys. Please, let's win it this year. Please, let's win it this year, guys. Come on, please. But listen, I think it's going to be 4-0 just for the simple fact they said we want Boston. But if not, if they never said that video, I would have said Celtics in 5. But I'm going to say Celtics in 4. But I'm going to say that humbly. We got to be humble because every year we say Boston's going to win the finals. They're the favorites, and they never do, bro. I'm starting to think we are the Cowboys of the, of the NBA. So listen, Celtics, I've watched you guys go to the finals once. You guys know how that. It's on my YouTube. Hi, Nicholas. I was crying, bro. My first time ever watching you guys in the finals. You guys lost. You guys were up 2-1, bro. <sighs> Whatever. Let's go. Let's grind Celtics. Focus. Let's go. I got Celtics moving on in four. Cavs in the Magic. I got the Cavs moving on in six. Or five. I want to say five, but I hope the Cavs kind of don't do good. Because I think the Cavs, every time we play the Cavs, it goes to like an OT or like we lose, bro. Every time I think of the Cavs too, I just think about Grant Williams. I'm going to make them both. I'm going to make them both. Come on. Really, Grant Williams, bro? Come on, man. But whatever. Um, I got the Cavs moving on. And I'm going to say in six. But that doesn't matter. I got the Cavs moving on and the Celtics moving on. Going right here, 
I'm going with the Milwaukee Bucks. Milwaukee Bucks and Pacers. This might sound like a surprise to y'all. I want to say the Bucks because I do think they are going to go. But I'm going to be different here. I'm going to say I think the Pacers are going to win. Now, the reason why I th- Giannis is out for the like beginning of the playoffs, um, I still think the Bucks would win, but it, because of their experience and everything, but something's telling me the Pacers might pull an upset, bro, and something's going to happen. Their Bucks aren't doing good with Doc Rivers. I'm going to go ahead. Ah, oh, dude, I want to say Bucks in like five, though. That's a problem. I'm going to say the Pacers. I'm going to say the Pacers in seven. I'm going to say Pacers in seven. This is going to sound crazy. I'm going to say Pacers in seven. Pacers in seven. It's going to sound crazy, but Pacers in seven. Knicks and Sixers. Now, you know what? I'm switching that. I'm saying Bucks, bro. Bucks and six. I'm saying Bucks and six. And then I'm going to go Sixers and Knicks. I got the Sixers winning in six. Um, Yep, I said it. They're going to win in six. I don't think Jalen Brunson is going to continue his like crazy run, but if he does, hey, yeah, good job. So I got... Sixers in six. I got Bucks in six. I got Cavs in five. And I got the Celtics in four. Boom. Now we're going to... Should we like... Now we're going to do the whole East. All right. And then the Sixers against the Bucks. I'm going to go with the Sixers in six. Yep. I'm going to go with the Sixers in six games. I think they're going to win it. But Sixers are going to move on to the Eastern Conference Finals. And then it's going to be Celtics versus Cavaliers. I got Celtics in five or six. Now, the only reason I say six is because I know that the Celtics are going to do some Celtics stuff and choke and do something. We, Bro, we were up by mad against the Hawks in the end of the year this year, and we just sold. Like, really, bro? So the Celtics are going to be this. I hope they're not the Celtics, but the Celtics might be the Celtics. But I'm going to go Celtics in five. So it's going to be Celtics against 76ers in the Eastern Conference Finals, and the Celtics are going to win in five games to move on to the NBA Finals against the 76ers. Now, I'm not underestimating the 76ers. I do believe Joel Embiid is going to be Joel Embiid, but also we got Al Horford who usually stops him. And also, I just know that, like, Batum... um, Cal, bro, for some reason, I can just taste that Kyle Lowry is just going to do crazy stuff against us. And Tyree Maxey is going to go crazy against us. I just know that, that that type of stuff happens when the Celtics play for some reason. But boom, I got the Celtics winning in five to go to the NBA Finals again. And this time, I hope he's secure. Going on to the West, though, because I'm going to wait. All right. Going on to the West. Thunder against Pelicans. I am going to go with the OKC. A lot of people think they're going to lose the first round. No, they're not going to lose against the Pelicans, bro. They're not. Pelicans are good. I love Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram is one of my favorite players. I really do like him a lot. But I'm going to go with the Thunder is going to move on. And if I had to say, I'd say the Thunder is going to win in six. Mm, Five. Thunder is going to win in five. Then it's going to be Clippers against Mavs. A lot of people say Mavs in this series, which, you know what I'm saying? It's usually, if the Mavs win, it's going to be because injuries. Kawhi is going to be hurt. I got the Clippers in seven. Clippers in seven, but Clippers are moving on. And then Wolves against the Suns. I got the Suns winning in six. Wolves, or no, my fault, Suns. I said Suns, right? I got Suns moving on in six games. Lakers against Nuggets. Now listen, bro. If the Lakers win this game against the Nuggets, the Lakers will go to the NBA Finals. Listen to what I'm saying right now. I don't really like the Lakers because they're like kind of like the rival for the set. Like they're competing for who has the most championships, right? Because they're tied right now. If the Lakers beat the Nuggets... LeBron will go to the finals. Mark my words. He will go to the finals. He will. Um, But I think the Nuggets are going to win in five. But Lakers have a good squad. Don't get me wrong. I got Nuggets in five. I got Nuggets in five. So Nuggets against Suns. I'm going to go with the Denver Nuggets in... 
I'm going with the Nuggets in five. Nuggets in six. Bro, I kind of want Suns to win, though. I don't know. Because KD's just good and then D-Book. But I'm going to go with the Nuggets in six games against the, the Suns. But Nuggets are going to win against the Suns. Then we're going to go OKC against the Clippers. I'm going to go with the Clippers winning against OKC. OKC is just they're young. Um, that doesn't really mean nothing, but you got to have some experience. Uh, this and that. Let's hope Kawhi stays healthy. PG, uh, Harden. Oh, shoot. I forgot they got Harden and crap. Russell Westbrook. Holy moly. Their team is stacked. Uh, they got Zubak, right? Bro. No, 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 no. Clippers are winning against the Oklahoma City Thunders in five games. You heard what I said. Five games. But I might be wrong about the five games, but in this series, the Clippers will win. So it's going to be in the Eastern Conference Finals, it's going to be Clippers against the Nuggets. I got the Clippers winning. Might sound crazy, y'all. Might sound crazy. I got the Clippers winning to go to the NBA Finals, and they will win in six or seven. They're going to win in seven. They're going to win in seven. The Clippers will win against the Denver Nuggets. Going now, the Nuggets versus, or the Clippers versus the Celtics. Last time I went to the Celtics game and I watched James Harden play, this dude Harden hit a step back game winner on us, game number one for the 76ers. So I'm a little nervous, but I'm going to say the Boston Celtics in five. The Celtics will win the NBA Finals this year in 2024. It's going to be Celtics versus Clippers. Celtics will win it. And if I had to say, they're going to win it in five. So, Celtics, JT, listen, I put my faith in you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I trust you that this is going to be the year, man. I really do. I really think this is the year. We got, bro, think about it. Jason Tatum, very good on defense. Jalen Brown, very good on defense. Drew Holiday, very good. Derek White, very good. Chris Osborne is good. Very good. Like, bro, we can play defense all around, bro. And the addition of Drew Holiday is crazy. And Porzingis. If Porzingis can stay healthy, we should go through the finals with no problem. But that is what we say every year. Last year, I remember people were saying, oh, the Milwaukee Bucks are out the first round. This year, we should go straight to the finals and there should be no excuses what happens we lose we're down 3-0 against the heat bro and then we come back and we lose because jason tatum got hurt the first possession so i'm sick and tired of every year we we say yo this is the year there's no excuse this year we have to do it oh shoot we lose all right this year's different no we lose i'm sick and tired of that so celtics just go get it done i'm not gonna say it's gonna be easy but i'm gonna say it i'm sorry Celtics, if you don't win it this year, listen to me right now. Celtics, if you do not win it this year, I want you to delete. I hope if the Celtics don't win it this year, the Celtics franchise gets deleted. They get deleted. I hope they get deleted. If Celtics, listen to me. If you guys do not win it this year, delete the franchise. Send Jason Tatum, send Jalen Brown all off to just do a random pick teams. They go to random teams because I don't care. Celtics, if you don't win it this year, it's never going to happen as long as I'm alive. So let's go Celtics because if we win it this year, you guys will show me that you guys can win it the next year, in the next year, in the next year. Because I think if we win it this year, we're going to repeat. And then after we repeat, I think we're going to three-peat. So come on, Celtics. Please, bro. Please. Let's get it, man. Celtics, let's go. I trust in y'all. I'm going to go to the game. I'm going to stream it. Bruins, I might go to the Bruins game. I might stream that. But simple as that, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Come on, man. Hey, guys, I really hope the Celtics win, bro. I really hope the Celtics win, bro.